In this video, you will learn 11 plus verbal reasoning type 13, find the number to complete the sum. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's look at this question. We have a left hand side, we have a right hand side and an equal sign in the middle. This means the sum on the left hand side must equal to the sum on the right hand side. Our aim is to find the missing number and when we do this sum along with the missing number on the right hand side it must equal to the sum on the left hand side. Before we start into this most of these questions actually follow the bid mass rule. If a question does not follow the bid mass rule then you will have to use bid mass. We have two examples one that follows bid mass and another one that does not follow bid mass so stay till the end. If you guys want to know more about bid mass, there's a video on bid mass. The link is in the description below, so go check that out. So let's start off by doing 27 divided by 9. 27 divided by 9 is going to give you an answer of 3. Now let's times this 3 by 11. 3 times 11 is going to give you an answer of 33. So the answer we got on the left hand side is 33. Now let's work out the sum on the right hand side. So 17 plus 18 is going to give you 35. So in our case, we will have to do 35 minus the missing number to give us 33. So which number do we have to take away from 35 to give us 33? We obviously have to take away 2 because 35 minus 2 is going to give you 33. So I hope you guys understood everything so far. Now let's go on to the next one. This question, as you guys could see, does not follow the bid mass rule. So in this case, we will have to use bid mass. So once again, we have a link in the description on a video about bid mass, so go check that video out. Let's look at this question now. So in this question, let's work out the left hand side first. So we have subtraction and multiplication, subtraction and multiplication. Since multiplication is higher up than subtraction, we're going to do it first and then we can do the subtraction. This means we will do 12 times 2 first. 12 times 2 is going to give you an answer of 24 and then we can bring down the 33 minus 33 minus 24 is going to give you an answer of 9. So the answer we got for the left hand side is 9. Now we need to find the missing number on the right hand side. And when we do this sum along with the missing number on the right hand side, it must give us an answer of 9. So let's start off by looking at the bit mass first. We have division, addition. So division and addition. And since division is higher up, we do that first. And then we can do the addition. So that means we will do 21 divided by 3 first. 21 divided by 3 is going to give you an answer of 7. So now we'll have to add something to 7 to give us an answer of 9. So the thing we'll have to add to 7 to give us 9 is obviously 2 because 7 plus 2 is going to give you 9. Now both the sides are 9 and so therefore they're equal. I hope you guys understood this question. Now to learn more on verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right and to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.